hey y'all what's up welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing today i hope you are doing okay so um i got my actual camera out today so i'm able to look <laughs> actually at the camera instead of looking at myself um and also that screen is too small and i can't see it i don't i didn't feel like hooking the tv up either so yeah hopefully i'm in focus hopefully y'all can see me let's get it cracking so today will be episode three of entrepreneur life and today's video is going to be about all about packing orders okay so i'm going to show you guys my process how i pack orders and i'm also going to show you guys shopify um as far as how it comes to fulfilling orders and things of that nature so let's get to it let's get to it oh i'm also going to show you guys everything like what one thing about me um you know when you are searching for things um for example if someone has on a cute outfit and you're like girl where you get that from so you can get something similar you know people try to hold that information in but that's not what this series is going to be about that's not what my channel is about i'm going to give you guys all of the information that i wish that you know people gave me so um let's get to it because if i'm keeping it real with y'all it's about um 10 30 at night and i have to get up and go to work tomorrow i have to get up and get case ready so i'm sleepy as hell so let's get to it um i got this hat on because i didn't feel like doing my hair i don't have any makeup on it's rough out here okay i worked out today i'm just trying to you know get my job done so i can not have to be in the military anymore <laughs> different type of packaging that I use um, for my company um, so as you guys know I sell lashes lip gloss t-shirts phone cases li liquid lipstick um, and skincare items so with that everything is different sizes so I can't just have one universal um, box or mailer so I have four I have four different um, types of packaging. So the first one, um, the first one are these purple bubble mailers. So I'll show you what it looks like. It just looks like this. And on the inside it's like bubble wrap, which gives the package um, padding <clears throat> so that you just don't have a flimsy type of package. And then I have these silver holographic ones. These are bigger, so I'll show you guys next to each other. So this one, and then the bigger one. And then of course the inside. So I believe this is 6x10 and this is 8x11. So these are about a medium size and this is a large size. So normally if you order like one lash or something, I'll put it in here. Or things that are small enough for this, I'll put into this one. If you order still a small amount or smaller things um, that will come in this one so these both are from Amazon okay um, this was like a pack of 25 for like 10 or 12 dollars um, and this was the same probably about 10 or 12 dollars for a pack of 25 and I also put them on like a um, auto I, I subscribed and saved but I will say Amazon, when it comes to buying things for your business, Amazon is a quick fix, not something that needs to be long term because Amazon definitely costs more per item. You get into buying things bulk, you don't want to just say, oh, this is only $10 and buy it because uh, I can buy 100 of these on Amazon for about $30. They'll probably be like 50, 75 cents. I don't know. I'm not doing math right now. but. I can buy these on a bulk website for a hundred or three hundred for thirty dollars. You know what I mean? So things are like 
way cheaper when you buy from bulk or wholesale websites. So actually, I am I have an account with Uline, and once these run out, I'm actually going to switch over to using Uline. I just used these because they were super quick and right to the point, and I bought a lot when I first started my business. So I still have I still have some left, but I'm actually going to switch to Uline because it's the same exact thing, just cheaper. And Uline actually has next day shipping. So Uline definitely, you guys definitely want to look into Uline when you're starting your business. Um, they're good for business credit, which I'm going to give you guys a whole video on that. And I will also link these down below um, where I got these exact ones from if you wanted to use these. Or, and I will also link Uline. I will also link Uline to the video as well. And then I just want to show you guys my custom boxes. So they say um, J Diamond Cosmetics. And then it says the website as well. Hopefully you guys can see. And then on the inside it says Phil 4 and 13, which is Philippians 4 and 13. Um, if you guys are into religious stuff, I believe in God and I believe that I would not be where I am if it was not for the Lord. So, um, you know, I grew up in church. My grandpa was a pastor and all of that. So I, I definitely believe in God. So I like to put him at the center of everything that I do, which is why I put him on, well, I put that scripture, which is I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Um, so yeah, and then I have this purple box, um, it's, it's the same exact thing, it's just purple. So I'll show you guys side by side, you can tell the purple box is much bigger, much deeper. So this is like, um, I have skincare bundles and I have a small and I have a large. The large will go in here because it takes up more space, I also have um, like this is just for people who order a lot that fit in these. Um, and then these are like regular average size orders. So like people order like a mixture of things or multiple things that are big enough for this but not enough for this. Then I, I will use this. Um, but I will say when it comes to packaging, like me personally, I don't like when I get stuff from a business to just have plain packaging, I'm all about packaging. So I will never use like post USPS boxes and things like that. You can, but me, I just like everything. I like a certain vibe, a certain aesthetic to my stuff. So that is why I have multiple types of packaging. And I got um, the black box. I got those made on Alibaba.com. Um, I just found a vendor found someone who was in my price range and um, went with them. And then the purple boxes I actually got from this website called Packlane.com. Now Packlane.com, they are pretty good, but I actually like Alibaba better, but Alibaba just didn't have, um, the vendor that I go to didn't have that size and I didn't feel like searching through their hundreds of vendors for um, someone who did and it will probably be way more cheaper I mean way more expensive since it's a bigger box so I just went with pack lane which I just googled you know custom mailer boxes and I just found what worked for me so like I said in previous videos Google is your friend when it comes to businesses now when you are shipping things out, there are a few things that you will need. You will most definitely need a digital scale because you're going to have to put the weights in for everything when you're fulfilling the orders, which I will show you when we get to that part. Um, but this literally, I believe this was less than $20. It possibly was $10. Um, and I got this on Amazon. Cute little rose gold. Um, you're going to need a printer. Excuse me, you're going to need a regular paper printer if you um, plan on putting packing slips with your orders, which I do. And then I have my little Dymo label um, printer. This is called the Dymo Label Writer 4XL, and these just print out my shipping labels. Now, I just, like I, like I said in previous videos, I'm all about um, how professional things look. 
So I would rather have a print out, printed out shipping label rather than me writing everyone's addresses. Because when I first started, I was writing everyone's addresses and I just hated the way it looked. I just felt like it looked so ratchet and so unprofessional. So I just invested in this and honestly it was only $1.99. So inside my orders, I have I put thank you cards inside my orders. Um, so I'll show you one. This is what it looks like. J Diamond Cosmetics. And on the back it just says thank you for your purchase. And it just has more stuff. So this is for everyday orders or whatever. And then I have one for my skincare. So this is my skincare one. And on the back it just, you know, tells you about all the items. Um, and it tells you to take pictures and stuff. And then, so those go inside of my orders. And then I have stickers. So these stickers right here go onto my boxes. These are like, instead of taping my boxes, I'll put it with the seal, I'll seal them with these. So that way um, I, you'll know if your package has been tampered with. And same for these, but I put these onto um, my mailers, which you'll see. Because I believe all the orders today Probably one is going to need a box. Um, these, I actually had, uh, my boyfriend actually has a friend who made these for me. So those are where these come from. And then these actually went on Etsy and I will tag them in, in the description box below. So let's get to packing the order. Okay, so sorry if my hands are shaky um i'm on my phone right now but i just want to show you so this is what shopify looks like okay um this is my home page so this tells me right here tells me how many orders i've had today 11 total orders and then this right here tells you the sessions basically how many people viewed your site today um and if you have a visitor so i actually have a visitor right now so we can click see live view and it shows you where the people are looking at. So I just normally zoom in, zoom in. Someone is looking at my site in California right now. Um, and then right down here where it says customer behavior, tells you when they add stuff to your cart, um, when they check out and how many people purchase. So like normally when I have big sales, it's way more than one. And it's also late at night. Um, but it'll say like three or four or five let's say five active carts right here and then right here we'll say two check two are in the process of checking out right now and one purchased already um so that's just an overview of that i don't want to get too much in that because into that right now because i plan on um doing a shopify video so right now i'm going to click orders and fit hurry up and load these are all of the unfulfilled orders that I have for today. So actually what I'm going to do is, uh-oh. So actually what I'm going to do is simply click them. Click the check mark on all of the highlighted orders. And then I am going to, to click create shipping labels and click print packing slips and now they're about to start printing on my printer so i'm going to let these print out and then i'll be back so now i'm about to show you guys how i package the orders and i also switched to my phone so sorry if everything's different um but this probably this part will probably be sped through i probably will just show you one so here are all of the lippies right here and like i said i had a sale so um 99 of all of my orders are lippies which is why i just bought the whole thing out instead of going back and forth into the closet for them so i'm about to get started
All right, y'all. So I am tired as hell, okay? That took about two hours. Um, only because for some reason my label printer was tripping. Like, it would print out one shipping label and then print out 16 more blank ones. So I was trying to figure that out. Um, and also, I'm in the military. So some people that order is also in the military, but they are overseas. So I was having to fill out customs um, online as well. So um, that's why it took me that long. But normally it doesn't take that long to ship out. I'm so sleepy, y'all. I'll show you guys the orders really quick. So these are all of the orders for today. All right, you guys. So that's really it for this video. But I just wanted to wrap up by telling you guys oh first things first i didn't tell you guys where i got my thank you cards from so my bigger thank you cards the j diamond cosmetic cards are from vista i mean are from moo and then my skin by j diamond are from vista print and i will link those both in the description bar but i just wanted to leave you guys on a positive note really quick um so i just want you guys to know everything is mental okay always think positive thoughts because you can do whatever you put your mind to okay for me i like i've been saying all video i am extremely tired it is 12 10 a.m right now um but that still doesn't stop me from getting my business stuff done i could have went to sleep and not package these orders but i it's just for me, I like to get my stuff in a timely manner. So I like to make sure that my customers get their things in a timely manner. So with that being said, I, even though I'm tired, that's not gonna stop me from doing my passion, what I love to do and putting my all into my business. Uh, and this is just what being an entrepreneur is all about. Like, honestly, I wake up at six o'clock every morning, get myself ready for work and then get my son ready for daycare. Then after that, I have to leave the house by 7, 7.05 at the latest to make it in time to drop him off at his daycare and then go to work and be at work on time by 7.30. I'm in the military. If you know anything about military life, you know, you need to be on time or you get in trouble. Um, I don't leave, I don't get off work till 4.30 and my, then I have to pick up my son from daycare. So by the time I do all that, I'm getting home by 5.30, 6 on a later day if there's bad traffic. I still have to cook dinner for my son and my boyfriend, or hopefully sometimes he cooks. And I still have to shower. I still have to get my son bathed and dressed. Then I have to pick up clothes for the next day. And then after I do all of that, I always make my business the last thing I do every night. Um, I could... I could not do it and I can wait till the next day when I'm not as tired, but it's not fair to you guys and that's not fair to myself. I always, I have goals in mind and in order for me to achieve my goals, I need to, even though I'm tired, consistently work, stay consistent and stay, um, just stay consistent with my business and everything will, everything that's in my mind will come to fruition. So just always think positive thoughts. Don't ever say you can't do something. Even if you're tired, still do it. I'm telling you, still do it. And it will all pay off in the end. So with that, uh, I'm gonna leave you guys with that. And remember to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Um, comment some type of videos that you guys wanna see that's business related um questions any questions you have, guys have just let me know um, be sure to follow all of my social media um go check out my website and buy something okay <laughs> but anyways um good night i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry i'm looking so rough right now but hey it's life every you can't look pretty all the time um so have a good night guys thank you for watching this video